we are going to be making banana chocolate chip bread in the crock pot. And it is very good bread. A lot of people, when I tell them I make this in the crock pot, they're surprised. They've never made bread in the crock pot, but it's quick, it's easy. You put it in at breakfast time, it's ready by lunch, and it's just a chum. Do you like it? Yes. You like best. it? So Natalie, my sweet little 10 year old, I almost said nine, is going to help. She's going to start mashing up the bananas. So we have three ripe bananas, and Natalie is going to be my assistant and mash. And while she does that, I'll add some of these ingredients. So other than the bananas, your dry ingredients, you're going to have flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and chocolate chips. You'll also be doing two eggs and a stick of butter. Or, you know, it's a half a cup. I'm going to use butter to grease my crock pot as well. Also, you don't need chocolate chips. Right, you don't have to do the chocolate chips. You could do nuts. I love walnuts in it, but I have some kids who don't like nuts. So, you don't do the nuts. So we're going to do two cups of flour. This does make a big loaf. I do not put a pan in the crock pot. I take my mixture, I dump it in the crock pot. So it makes, however big your crock pot is, right, makes that size and shape. So it is a lot. We eat on it all day. Like I make it and everyone just snacks and nibbles on it all day. I need to get a second crock pot. I used to have two. And um, I got rid of the second one, like decluttering, and I really regret it. So I'm going to get two. And if I had two, I would make two batches so that I could have, like, maybe freeze one or just stick it in the fridge for the next day. So I'm doing two cups of flour here. And she is mashing her three bananas, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm going to do one cup of sugar. You can do brown sugar if you want to, but I am almost out of brown sugar, and the recipe actually calls for white. But I've done brown before, and it really gives it a nice flavor. I've also added a little bit of vanilla to this before, and it's pretty good. I might do that. All right. You will need a teaspoon of baking powder. I normally... Um, eyeball cook and just kind of guess but I'm trying to be specific for you guys so we'll see how it goes and then just a half of baking soda now I will just eyeball it with my table teaspoon here and get that going that was loud all right I'm gonna get my dry mix up here Probably let Natalie do the chocolate chips because I think she would like that. How's the mashing? You gotta mash. You gotta mash, mash, mash. Yeah, get them as like baby food. Baby food. Okay, I like baby food. I like our baby food challenge. Yes, they did a baby food challenge on their YouTube channel. Then it was kind of. Eh, I tried some of them. Pretty gross. But I like this banana bread because it's big. It's way bigger. I have to get a knife. Then if you made it in a little pan, it's like two pans, and you're only doing one thing. And I like it because I can whip it up and get it ready the night before or that morning and start it, keep mashing, um, during breakfast. Or if you wake up really early before your kids, you can start it then. Your kids can have it for breakfast. But I tend to start it just in the morning when we're having breakfast, and then it's ready for us, you know, by lunchtime. So we finish school, maybe we've gone on a walk, and then we can come back and have our lunch with some banana bread. Okay, I'm gonna grab a knife. Now he's gonna mash. Mm -hmm. Smash, smash, smash. Alrighty. I'm gonna cut my butter into little slices so it mixes up easier. And I'll just dump them in there. When we get all of this mixed, we will add our bananas and our chocolate, it'll be so good. You can also do pumpkin bread in the crock pot. Yes, you can do just about any bread that you wanna do. You could do a, you know, more of a savory. You could do onions and just garlic and an everything type of bread in your crock pot. 
I should do that and show y'all the recipe. Oh, it's really good. It is? Yes, you pull it out, you put some butter on it, you have it with your spaghetti. Yum, yum. Get so. All right, so we got to mix this stuff all up. It'll be fun. I got my butter really mixed. I had to get a better spoon, obviously. And Natalie has poured her chocolate chips into her banana mixture. Do you want to show them? So good. That smells good. You see? So we did a cup of chocolate chips. You can obviously alter that to your own, however much you want. But I want a really chocolate. But and that's what the recipe calls for. And it's not overwhelming. I think it's the perfect amount. You're gonna need two eggs for this. It, like, if you're not, like, stirring it, it looks like chocolate chip cookie dough. It does look like chocolate chip cookie dough. But when Get you stir it, eggs. it's like more. There we go. Less. No, I mean less thick. I am not a picky cooker. So I just, I did do my dry ingredients first. But my egg, I just kind of make a little bowl in there. I keep throwing flour. And uh, whisk it up and then get that all going. It's all mixed. Okay, so we're going to add in our bananas and our chocolate chips. You ready? Yes. So quick and easy, you guys. My two older girls could do this by themselves. All right. Get it in there going. This takes four hours in the crock pot on low. You want to mix it in? So we are going to go... Put this in the crock pot. I'll show you what it looks like before I start it and then what it looks like after it's done cooking. Yummy! So pretty. So excited. I'm going to use butter. This is a stick of butter. And just grease my pan because I feel like it gives the bread a nice golden outside. Um, instead of the non-stick spray, it just, I feel like it works better. So I'm going to take my clean hand, y'all. Clean. I and just sister. rub this butter. I do this for a lot of my crock pot baking. Now, if I'm just cooking, I don't really do this. I use my stick spray, but for baking, I did this with my oatmeal as well. Then I don't use my whole stick, so I just wrap that bad boy back up and use it again. Do you want to help dump it in? It's heavy, you guys. Can you get it? I don't know. Oh, it's so thick. It is. Thick bread. I don't know if I can get it out. Okay. Hard. This is a thick, of course it's bread, you know, if you're making bread, it's going to be thick, it's gonna be thick and it's heavy. Um, obviously you could use your hand mixer. I did not pull mine out because it shouldn't feel like it to mix that up. I feel like doing my spoon here does the job. We'll just try to get all the inside of this bowl. Clean. Out, because we want to eat that bread, don't we? Mm -hmm. My girls were saying that this would be really good with peanut butter chips and chocolate chips, like Reese PC type things, um, and that would be good. My favorite is nuts in it. You could do nuts and like cranberries, and because I think cranberry and banana and nuts, I just think that would be really good. This looks like cookie dough and a crock pot. In a crock pot. Mm -hmm. wonder how that would turn out. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Turn and this out. does rise, you guys. Gets bigger. Let's so, get all that goodness in there as much as we can. I like when it's nice and fluffy. Yes, I do too. Okay, I'm going to take my messy hand and show you here what this looks like. See there? Now it'll rise up a little bit. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So I'm going to go put this on low for about four hours. So I'll be back. It'll be oh, about dinner time for us. So maybe this will be a good dinner time dessert. Mm -hmm. It's super good. Tastes like bread. 
All right, we'll see you in four hours, guys. And then that bread is done. Look at that. Mm. Yum, am I right? I say that too much, am I right? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to get this out of here and cut this up and show you guys what it looks like when it's all out. All right, you guys, so I cut a couple of pieces here off. It really needs to cool before you start cutting into it, so I just cut the two end pieces, and I'm going to let the rest cool before I cut it up. But, yeah, nice, big banana bread. Yum. Everyone's ready to dig into it. It's burning up. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you learn some new recipes that you will like. So if you did like it, be sure and give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and comment. Let me know down in the comments if you would like to see any other recipes. You gonna do a thumbs up? <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Maybe